Hello, hello, hello! Crafty Chris here with another Scrap Your Scrap Scraps Thursday night. We are going to be making May's calendar, so we're actually getting closer to the front of the month rather than in the middle of the month, when it, which is when I usually getting around to doing these things. Um, so what I've done is I I went online to Pinterest and I just looked up an inspiration in color. So I put in the word spring and. Um, I got a set of colors and what they had was sort of like this peachy color with a kind of um, sagey green. Now I, I didn't have a lot in the sagey green uh, uh, category but I did have the peachy color and I went for something that would be somewhere between sagey green and lime green and uh, so I pulled out a bunch of things. So I've got some little um, dots so I, I have some uh, arrows going up and down and I have some um, dots and I've got some sequins here for decorating. I have this weird sort of page thingy that is an, an orange color but it kind of goes with everything and I thought it was fun but whether I use it I don't know. And then I have this reddish orangish. Um, these are um, rub-ons and so I'm kind of thinking oh that's interesting the rub-on is stuck I don't know if I can get that off but anyway um, I was kind of thinking I would try parts of that to decorate and then I have some of this rickrack from an ancient set of rickrack in the old days when it used to come pre-cut and you just broke them out of a sheet so I have that and I have some green and I have some uh, kind of peachy letters for the title. So um, I think we're just going to, and then I have more rub-ons in this greeny color. So I think what we're going to do is get started with the actual layout first. So as always, I need to have something that goes across the top, something that comes down both sides and I thought I would just add this element to it. And there we go. And then a color that finishes finishes off the bottom. So this is my, oh, you can't really see it because it's off the camera, but this is my color uh, plan. So the first thing we're gonna do is get the piece across the top because it is the biggest piece and we're going to measure what we need there and the measurements are often off on this so this is uh, 3 and 5 sixteenths down here 3 and 5 sixteenths so I am going to make this 3 and 3 eighths just a little bit bigger so that I can trim it back 3 and 3 eighths There we go. Okay, there's my three and three eighths for across the top. That piece goes back into the folder with all the colors. And while I'm here, I'm going to just stick this down. Oh, isn't that interesting? I just noticed that. Do I like that better or worse? I didn't even know that was on the back. Hmm. That or, no, I like the I like this. It's a little more uh, interesting to look at. Okay, so now we are gonna stick this down. across the top and I want the dark side on the, the left side of the page. There we go. Got that stuck down, and I know that I have to trim off the edge here, so I get my big scissors for the long cut. And I'm just going to follow along the edge of the calendar page 
and just snip off a little bit of this side here. There we go. And that's done. So that is my top. Now, the sides I always mess up on, so this time we're going to try not to mess up on them. Um, three quarters gives me a little more. So three quarters, I think, is when I'm going to trim everything. That's tight. I'm going to trim it 13 sixteenths of an inch. Your papers may be different. 13 sixteenths of an inch. So you know what, I'm just going to make it an inch. I know I'm going to trim more than I need, but I will be for sure getting something that looks appropriate. And that piece is going to go back. Alrighty. So now we're going to I'm actually going to tape the sides because I know that the piece is too big. So I'm just going to tape and I'm going to line it up with that paper and the edge and bring it all the way down tape it up on this side again oops a little too much there There we go. And then I'm going to line up this with the top. And the side. There we go. And rub that down. And I'm going to trim. Whoops. Just sloppy there. Alrighty, so now I've got my side pieces. I want to bring in these pieces because I want to be able to trim them off. And I'm going to have them uh, starting in the opposite direction of each other so that they go like this down. And I'll we'll just use some. tape runner for this I'm just kind of gauging where it begins and it ends I'm trying to make sure that I don't get the tape coming into the area where I can see oops dropped it okay I think I might have put too much on. Anyway. Alrighty. And I'm going to line it up with the center. Turn this sideways so I can see it better. Making sure that it's sort of centered. So I'm going to have to move it over just a tad. 
gegangen. Not easy to line up, really. There we go. Okay. Come off that. Take the other piece and go in the opposite direction. And measure the bottom and the top so I have an idea where it's beginning and ending. Turn back those little bits of adhesive that are showing. There we go. Line that. Centered. There we go. Alrighty. Trim that. Those little pieces I'll keep for something else. Okay, and now I need a piece for across the bottom. And I have the opportunity of taking the dark side or the light side. Dark light side or dark side. I think I'll take the light side. Keep in keeping with the top. Oh, got a measure. So this is saying that it's three quarters of an inch. So I am going to give it seven eighths of an inch. Seven eighths of an inch. There we go. And I can go back in the green folder. And now this can play across the bottom there. There we go. it's not quite matching there. There we go. All right. Now I can trim that off at the bottom. So that's our base, and it's all happy there. Now I'm going to put our letters on. And I'm just going to grab my metal ruler and use it as my lining tool. Every time I do this, I try to use a different tool to line with. Okay, and there we have May. 
Now I had and in the center, I had it to this side, so I'm now going to put it to this side. And I'm just going to give it the whole width. Hmm, maybe not. There we go. And I'm just going to pop that down. Pop that out. There's my made. The thing about foam is that it kind of has a life of its own. Sometimes you have to play with it a little bit to get it to sit properly. There we are. And I'm looking at that Y and I'm saying to myself that Y is not great. There we go. Now that's a little bit better. Yes, that's a bit better. Okay, so now I know that me is going to start on the date Monday. All right. So this is going to be the first of May. Uh, so let's just first of May and that means I have this to decorate so that can be decorated so 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31 okay and then I have these three to decorate so I have these three to decorate and I have a bunch of stickies here. So as you can see, sometimes my um, calendar pages are very busy and three-dimensional, and other times I have them just very simple. Thinking of you, thanks a bunch. No, those are more sentiments for a card. Down there. We do have some decorative things. I kind of like the way that looks. So I think I'm just going to pop that in there right now. Get my rub on tool. So I'm just going to push it down, give it a good start. And sometimes you have to be careful if you have cheaper up ons, you'll notice that they don't come off as easily. These seem to be doing okay. There we go. That one was not very painful at all. And I'm going to put that back on its paper, which is right here. And I'm going to snip that piece off. Okay, so this is done. Stick it back in there. What else do I have? Okay, so I think I like this flower to be right there. There we go. And I'm going to stick that right on there. Rub it down a little. Get it started. Oh, 
moved a little at the bottom, but not too bad. There we go. This is fun, fun, fun. I'm going to put celebrate just because. All right. Um, let's see. Don't want them to stick together. So I'm going to put celebrate across the bottom. There we go. There. And then just because. Celebrate just because. And what else do we have? We have a couple of little flowers. You know what? I think I'm just going to leave it just like that. And I'll put some doodads on it. So that makes me happy. And. Maybe I can bring in. Uh -oh. Be careful not to get things stuck to each other. There we go. Oh, we do have little flowers here, but let's see what we've got going on here. Um, I think. I can put that over top of me. Or do I put that under me and move me up? Okay, I'm reorganizing me. I'm moving me down. thing these don't stick so strongly that you can't move them around how does that look these a bit off a little better yeah alrighty now I'm gonna get this guy oh does not appear that these are going to come off very well. Isn't that a bummer? Well, let me try and play around with it a little. Let's see if I can fill in the missing spots. is just going to be what it is going to be. It's a little bit eclectic. <sighs> yeah, I think these are toast mostly. Oh, the flower comes off. Let's see if I 
ahead and steal some of this because we do need a little bit of this orangey ready bit. Alrighty. So I'm cutting away. And this will just look like a flower. do something like that and move me over a tiny bit. I think that's what I'm going to do. So May is going to get moved over a little bit. And this is going to get put on right there. that out. I don't know what I'm doing with that so let's just put me here. I'm not going to put push it down too hard actually. If I put the A right under there and the Y and the M Alrighty, that's looking like something now. Something better than what it looked like a minute ago. M -A -Y. Sorry, I'm just a little bit out of screen. There we go. I'm happier with that. Now, can I have this come out on the other side? Yeah, it's too much. I think I will just leave it about down here. If I could do a little bit of something in there. Or a little bit of something here. Look, I like at this place. And I'm okay with it overlapping, just as long as the words are seen. There we go. that piece. The rest of this is garbage. Okay, so those two things are there. Let's see what we've got now. Could I use a piece of this under there? Are over here. And then I can have another piece that kind of goes off on this side. Just trying to get a little bit of balance 
or I could have both these pieces going off on this side like this actually creating sort of a little thing and in there I could put some some of these guys or some of these guys or some of these guys what if we put it up some reason I like that. I don't know that it's the best decision design wise, but I just kind of like it. Um, so I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to just dig in and do it, even though my spidey sense is saying, hmm, maybe not. I just kind of like the way it looks. There we go. Maybe up just a bit higher. And then this guy. where I want it there or there yeah that looks better now let me just get it lined up there we go okay Okay, it's reading for me. And I think I'm just going to put some of these guys along here. Because I can. There we go. Okay. So that's all I'm going to do because if I do more than that, I think I'm just going to go over the top. So I'm going to leave it as is. And that. Mm, <laughs> she said. Oh. And that is going to be my May calendar page. And I'll leave it as is. So I hope that you heard a little bit of how I was talking through the project to try to make decisions on things. And sometimes, um, if it doesn't make design sense but you like it, it's okay to go for it. So I hope uh, you have a great week. And we will see you next Thursday. And don't forget, if you like this video and you want to share it with your friends, feel free to do so. And make sure to just subscribe to my channel by clicking the link below. Bye now.